It's a key connector in the Tri-Cities, but for months, Como Lake Avenue has been torn up to install natural gas pipelines, causing traffic and delays. And now with school about to start next week, there are serious concerns that diverted traffic could affect student safety. We place neighborhoods at risk and pedestrians at risk, cyclists and uh, uh, motorists at risk. Coquitlam's mayor is concerned that Fortis is diverting traffic away from construction through back roads and school zones, forcing traffic to do what's known as rat running. When we divert traffic from an arterial which is designed for lots of traffic onto a side street that isn't designed for that, rat running is the common term for the, the motorists finding another route. It's like water when the water will find another route and sometimes it causes all kinds of other problems and we've seen those problems in school zones in particular. And that could affect schools like Dr. Charles Best Secondary School on the corner of Mariner Way. Parents of students here and at other schools along the avenue will be receiving letters from the school board warning them of potential trouble spots from Tuesday onwards. The natural gas pipeline upgrades were due to be completed in August, but the sign here says September. Now Fortis BC have admitted it could continue until later this year. And that's got local businesses worried. It's so bad for the business anyway. Yeah, we sit all day and not much client coming. Well, it's because it is difficult for the customers to access to this mall. I think about 20 to 30 percent, you know, comparing to the, before the construction, I feel it's decreasing the business. In a statement, Fortis BC said we have been in touch with local schools throughout the project and will be reaching out again this week to make sure they have the latest details. We're working to complete construction safely and as quickly as possible. In the meantime, Coquitlam's mayor says he'll be working with Fortis to ensure students are kept as safe as possible ahead of the new school term. Our engineering team is working as well as we possibly can with Fortis and with Michaels, the contractor, to mitigate all of the risk associated with having this massive construction project as school reopens. In Coquitlam, Tom Walsh, City News.